to give us the lateral scheme of the Turgo Palette Enforcer to show the entrances and exits. And this is the foramen laserum. The foramen laserum, the contents passing through it is the greater and deep petrosal nerves which forms the nerve of Turgoid canal. The greater petrosal nerve and deep petrosal nerve forms the nerve of Turgoid canal. Okay, so this is the nerve of pterygoid canal. So the foramen laserum through which the nerves pass through forming the nerve of pterygoid canal passes through this. And uh, for, through foramen rotundum is the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve uh, which passes through the inferior orbital fissure, through the inferior orbital groove and then the inferior orbital canal and into the foramen and then it opens into the face. This is the sphenopalatine palatine foramen through which the nasopalatine nerve, the sphenopalatine palatine nerve artery passes through and this exits to the nasal cavity. And this is the posterior superior alveolar foramina which exits into the maxillary sinus. This is the maxilla. Okay, and this is the lesser and greater palatine foramen, foramina which leads into the palate. Now the heart palate, the, the palate forms the roof of the oral cavity and floor of the nasal cavity. The maxilla are palatal processes which constitutes the anterior two-thirds and the posterior one-third of the heart palate is formed by the palatin bones which are the horizontal palates or it is the horizontal portion or horizontal part of the palatin bone. The pterygoid plates of the spinoid articulates with the maxillary tuberosity. So the anterior two-thirds of the palate is formed by the maxilla and the posterior one-third of the palatal, pro palatal process is formed by the palatin bone. The horizontal portion of the palatin bone is formed by the uh, uh, forms the posterior one-third. Also the posterior most palate is formed by the pterygoid plates of the spinoid which articulates with the maxillary tuberosity. Then the palatal foramen what, what uh, the palatal foramen are present are incisive foramen and the greater and lesser palatine foramen. Through the incisive foramen, you have descending palatine vessels and nasal palatine nerves, uh, which are divisions of the mandibular division of trigeminal nerve, that is 5 3. Then, greater and, greater and lesser palatine foramen, through which the descending palatine vessels and anterior palatine nerve which is a division of mandibular division of trigeminal nerve and it is a site of palatal anesthetic block now here this is the boundaries of the nasal cavity the boundaries the floor is formed floor of the nasal cavity is formed by the heart palate roof of the nasal cavity is formed by the cribriform plate of atmoid bone the nasal spine of frontal bone nasal bones and lateral nasal cartilages the lateral wall is formed by the nasal, ethmoid, spinoid, maxilla, palatine and inferior conical bones. Then the medial wall is formed by the nasal septum. The external nose is formed by two nasal bones and nasal cartilages. Now here you can see the lateral nasal cavity and the heart palate. This is cutting the face in the middle. And this is the side view. So uh, that is you can see here the inci uh, incisor here and this is molar smaller till the incisor and at the level of the incisor the face is cut. Okay. And this is the crystalline frontal sinus superior nasal concha. This is the this is superior nasal concha, this is the middle nasal concha. This is the inferior nasal concha. This is the middle meatus, uh, middle nasal meatus. That is below the middle nasal concha. You have the middle meatus. Then be below the inferior nasal concha, you have the inferior nasal meatus. This is the anterior nasal spine. This is the incisive canal, and this is the palatal process of the maxilla. Then you can see here. This is the pterygoid hamulus. This is the horizontal plate of the palatine bone. This is the medial pterygoid plate. The lateral pterygoid plate is cut off. The, this is the semilunar hiatus. This is the spinopalatine foramen. 
this is the ethmoid layer sac this is the hypophyseal fossa in which the pituitary gland is situated this is a sphenoid air sinus sphenoethmoidal recess cribriform plate of ethmoid bone now the cranial nerve that is first nerve olfactory nerve projects to the primary olfactory cortex now the nasal cavity the sensory innervation you are going to see the sensory innervation of the nasal cavity and it is from the branches of maxillary division of trigeminal nerve the first 5 1 is ophthalmic division of trigeminal nerve 5 2 is maxillary division of trigeminal nerve 5 3 is of uh, mandibular division of trigeminal nerve this is the that is the now the branches of maxillary division of trigeminal nerve is nasal palatine intraorbital and greater palatine branch and some sensory branches which provide innervation to the nasal cavity is from the 5 1 that is the ophthalmic division which is the anterior ethmoidal nerve now the parasympathetic innervation to the secretory glands supplied by the branches of the pterygopalatine ganglion this is another innervation then the olfactory epithelium which is present in the roof of the nasal cavity is innervated by the olfactory nerve the blood supply is by the spinopalatine branch of maxillary artery anterior ethmoidal branch of ophthalmic artery and septic branch septal branch of superior label branch of facial artery superior nasal cone and upper third of the sep nasal septum contains yellowish olfactory mucosa okay now this is the conchae and the meatuses now conchae you have superior and middle which is superior and middle conchae which is present in the ethmoid bone inferior conchae is its own bone that is it does not belong to ethmoid or spinoid or palatine it is its own bone inferior conchae it is a single bone increase air turbulences for warming filtering and olfaction so this is the function of conchae whereas the meatuses are found are areas below each conchae and they are superior meatus, middle meatus and inferior meatus what does the meatus do is they are the drainage points for sinuses and nas nasal artery 